The WWE has head south tonight at the Raising Cane's River Center in good old Louisiana on the road to January 1st at the Royal Rumble. Welcome everybody to Friday Night SmackDown. Happy holidays from the WWE. And tonight, in the heart of Louisiana, a double main event. First up, for the first time in WWE, L.A. Knight set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Both men looking towards the Royal Rumble and another matchup regarding the Royal Rumble will determine the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Roderick Strong, one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio. The winner fights Ricochet in Toronto on the first. We're gonna find out who's gonna be that man later tonight. But well, we kick things off here tonight in Louisiana with happy Baron Corbin, a man who's hot off a victory against Dexter Loomis last week on Friday Night SmackDown, looking to continue his lucky winning ways here tonight in Louisiana. Corbin looking to punch his ticket to the Royal Rumble matchup. Maybe a win tonight can do just that. Corbin set for action to kick us off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Happy Corbin! The Royal Rumble coming your way January the 1st. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The road to WrestleMania begins in Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the Royal Rumble. And tonight gonna have a lot of Royal Rumble implications. As we just saw, we're gonna crown the number one contender for Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship at that event. Plus, LA Knight, Drew McIntyre, two men who will compete in the Royal Rumble matchup, looking to build some momentum towards that night, here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. But who is set to face Baron Corbin here tonight in Louisiana? Wait, just a minute. Oh my goodness. And his opponent from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in over a year, the monster among men, Braun Strowman is back in the WWE. And he's here on Friday Night SmackDown in Louisiana. Baron Corbin, his luck may have just ran out because he's got a full head of steam of a train running at him. Braun Strowman is in the house. What a surprise to kick us off on what is going to be a night filled with Royal Rumble implications. Wow, what a matchup. Corbin and Strowman kicking us off here tonight in Louisiana. What a night it's going to be on Friday Night SmackDown, the second to last SmackDown before we get to the Royal Rumble. Ron Strowman has been away from the WWE for over a year. He is back here tonight. And Corbin, his luck, as we mentioned, may have just ran out. Corbin's hot off a victory against Dexter Loomis in a rematch. Those two men went at it just last week on SmackDown. Corbin picked up the win. But Corbin got to be thrown off his game right now. Braun Strowman, a surprise return. And I'm getting word Braun Strowman officially signed to Friday Night SmackDown. That is huge news. The monster among men is back in the WWE, and he's a part of the blue brand officially here tonight. And Corbin is suffering a cold, hard beatdown at the hands of this monster. Corbin's getting those hands for sure. What a surprise, Braun Strowman. What a time to come back just days before the Royal Rumble. Imagine Braun Strowman getting in there in the Royal Rumble matchup. A matchup he's been amongst the final few several times throughout his career. Oh, wait a minute. Dexter Loomis, the man who was defeated by Corbin just, just last week. Well, he's not out here. I think that might have just been some mind games from Dexter Loomis taking Corbin's eye off the ball. And Strowman making Corbin pay for turning his back on the monster. And where the hell is Braun going? Off the top rope comes the big man. And Strowman into the cover off the distraction. 
and Braun is victorious in his return to Friday Night SmackDown. Well, happy Corbin. Going to be feeling a little sad here tonight, if you will, here in Louisiana. A loss to Braun Strowman and Dexter Loomis. Here is your winner, Braun Strowman. Loomis took Corbin's eye off the ball, and it was enough for that man, Braun Strowman, to take advantage. The monster among men is back. He's on SmackDown, and it's full steam ahead towards the Rumble. We are back inside Louisiana here on Friday Night SmackDown. It is time to crown your number one contender for Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship on January the 1st. And it could very well be one of the greatest Cruiserweights of all time. A man who has held the championship currently held by Ricochet multiple times throughout his career. Could he be heading towards another reign at the Royal Rumble? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Ray Mysterio. Well, Ray has been on a roll as of late on Friday Night SmackDown. Victories over Shelton Benjamin, The Miz back at the All-Star kickoff, and just last week, a win over Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Ray has been in a roll, but if there's any man who's going to put a halt to that momentum, it's the man who was just the previous number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship back at Survivor Series in November, that being Roderick Strong. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Well, Roddy Strong is 2-1 and one since joining the main roster, and that one loss came back on Thanksgiving night at the Survivor Series pay-per-view when he met Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship. Coming up short on that night, Strong's been chomping at the bit to get another opportunity at the one and only, and tonight could be the outlet to get that championship opportunity at the Royal Rumble. Roderick Strong is a former NXT North American champion, a former NXT Tag Team champion, and could very well be the next Cruiserweight Champion. You gotta think Roddy Strong would come into a matchup against Ricochet at the Royal Rumble with a completely different blueprint, a completely different strategy than he did at Survivor Series, learning from his mistakes, and that, in my eyes, may spell trouble for the one and only Cruiserweight Champion. And of course, that is if Roderick Strong can make his way to the Royal Rumble. It's going to be Strong versus Rey Mysterio, number one contender's bout, moving us right along on Friday Night SmackDown here tonight in Louisiana. Oh, and Strong right off the get-go. Need a Rey Mysterio into the cover. Well, Rey getting the shoulder up, Strong trying to catch the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio off guard there. But Rey's seen worse. Ray's been in a roll. Roderick Strong's got a winning record since joining the main roster. Something's got to give here tonight with an opportunity to fight Ricochet at the Royal Rumble on the line. Roderick Strong getting out of the way of that springboard moonsault there by Ray. Now the momentum shifts in Arati's corner. Ricochet has been the Cruiserweight Champion since June the 26th of this year. He's going to be heading into the new year as the champion, January 1st, 2023. But what a reign it's been for the one and only Ricochet. He has retained the gold over Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wes Lee, Chad Gable, Roderick Strong, of course. And just a couple of weeks ago in Las Vegas at the All-Star kickoff, they on SmackDown retaining the championship over Tyler Bate in that open challenge. Ricochet's had a legendary run as the champion. Is one of these men going to be the kryptonite for that gold on Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023? Live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. Ray trying to fight back into this contest right now, heading towards the top rope. Roderick Strong in trouble as soon as he realized where Ray had head. It was a little too late. Ray with that head scissors taking down Roderick Strong. And a springboard, Mysterio takes it to the air. Ray doing what he does best. He's been on a roll as of late for a reason. 
and he's heading towards a possible opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship if he keeps up this momentum. But right now, Roderick Strong trying to make sure that doesn't happen on his account. One of our big two marquee matches here tonight on SmackDown still to come. Two men that will be two of the 15 participants of Friday Night SmackDown in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. LA Knight, Drew McIntyre set the lock horns for the first time ever in WWE here tonight on SmackDown. A great main event matchup that's going to be, and what a matchup we got right now between Roderick Strong and Ricochet, or excuse me, Roderick Strong and Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship number one contender slot. And now Strong behind on Rey Mysterio here. If that would have been all, it would have been Roger Strong versus Ricochet at the Royal Rumble. Strong's got to keep his eye on Rey Mysterio, though. A man who celebrated 20 years in the WWE this year. Rey Mysterio has had a decorated future Hall of Fame career, but he's not done just yet. He has held the Cruiserweight Championship many times throughout his career, and he's looking to do it again if he can get through Roger Strong here tonight. Roderick Strong sitting in the top row. What does Rey Mysterio have in mind here? Wait a minute, body scissors. Whoa, Bulldog from the middle rope. What a maneuver by the greatest mask of all time. Into the cover. Strong may be out of it. Roderick Strong gets the shoulder up. The Rey Mysterio almost had him. And Strong sitting in the top. The body scissors, Bulldog, not enough to keep Roddy down. And now Strong shoving Mysterio off the top rope, trying to avoid disaster. Rey Mysterio almost punched his ticket to the Royal Rumble there, and Roger Strong drops the knee. Rip cord on Ray. Ray gets up. Head scissors take down. Down goes Strong again. Now Mysterio going back to the top rope. Ray from the heavens. Frog splash. And into the cover he goes. Strong may be in trouble. That is all she wrote. Ray Mysterio digging deep in the bag of tricks and punches his ticket to the Royal Rumble. Rey Mysterio not even pulling out the 619 tonight, showcasing that he's got more than a couple of tricks up his sleeve. The body scissors bulldog almost did it. Roderick Strong was able to survive, but Rey Mysterio continuing to fight back, continuing with the offense. That frog splash just a few moments later, as you see right here, is enough to pick up the victory for the 619. What a win for Rey Mysterio here tonight on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Rey Mysterio. And it is official at the Royal Rumble, the championship of the Cruiserweight Division's on the line. Rey Mysterio contests for the gold against the one and only Ricochet in Toronto. Well, the action continues here tonight on SmackDown, Louisiana. The glorious Robert Roode set to go one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Bate, plus the show-off Dolph Ziggler meets Elias one-on-one -on -one in the blue brand ring. The results of those contests see Robert Roode picking up the victory over Tyler Bate here tonight on SmackDown. And on the other hand, the show-off Dolph Ziggler getting his hand raised against Elias. SmackDown rolls on from Louisiana. As the road to the Royal Rumble continues, one of the roughest and toughest of the SmackDown locker room, Oni Lorcan, with Danny Burch by his side, set for one-on-one -on -one action here tonight on SmackDown. But his opponent, the man who is so far 2-0 on the blue brand, the former NXT United Kingdom champion for 870 days, representing Imperium, this is Walter. The ring general is here in Louisiana and is looking for another matchup on SmackDown. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter! Well, Walter is 2-0 since joining Friday Night SmackDown along with his Imperium brethren, but will Walter be the one heading to WrestleMania when he participates in the 30-man over-the-top rope Royal Rumble matchup on Sunday night, January the 1st, 
2023. Walter, one of 15 SmackDown superstars, is going to enter that 30-man challenge. Only one man is heading to WrestleMania to challenge for either SmackDown's World Championship or Raw's WWE Championship. What a win it could be for Walter if he makes his way to Toronto and in one of his first few contestants joining the main roster punches his ticket to WrestleMania. And so far, the way Walter has been here on SmackDown, that is very much a possibility for the leader of this Imperium faction. Drew Gulak and Mansoor have felt the wrath of the ring general thus far. But will Oni Lorcan be the man? to take the ring general to the limit. Oni Lorcan set for one-on-one -on -one action against Walter as Friday Night SmackDown continues on here tonight in Louisiana, and he takes it right to Walter off the opening bell with that uppercut, and man just pissed off the ring general. Oni Lorcan, you gotta give him credit, charging full steam ahead at the ring general Walter. Oni Lorcan is as tough as they come, a former NXT, or excuse me, NXT, Tag Team Champion with Danny Burch, his tag team partner. You remember back at Money in the Bank in the month of May, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch were once the number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships. Lorcan back on SmackDown here tonight, looking to take the fight to Imperium's Walter. There's a nice counter right there. And a counter by the ring general. And a counter by Lorcan with an overhand shot. Another one, another one. Lorcan's unloading on the ring general right now. What a uppercut or forearm, whatever that was from my vantage point, and he sends Walter over the top rope. If this were the Royal Rumble matchup, Walter would have just been eliminated. Lorcan not backing down from the challenge here tonight. He is taking the fight to the undefeated ring general, Friday Night SmackDown. This has been the most so far that Walter's been pushed to his limits. Obviously, we know Walter can go in a deep, deep waters inside of that ring, but Drew Gulak, Mansoor, neither of those men really stood a fight against Walter so far. Only Lorcan is giving it his best shot. Unloading on the ring general again here, and this time Walter able to catch it, and a headbutt by the bigger competitor. And only Lorcan may have thrown his best shot, may have pissed off the ring general as he ragdolls him all the way to the other side of the ring. Andy Burch trying to egg on his tag team partner, but Walter with a power bomb and an emphatic statement by the ring general. And he's not done. Walter looking to make a statement tonight on SmackDown. Another power bomb. Not done. Another power bomb. And a fourth. Into the cover goes the ring general. And I don't like Goni Lorcan's chances. Walter moves to three. Zip on SmackDown. I don't know who the hell is going to step up to the ring general and give him a challenge he won't forget. But right now, Imperium's Walter moves to 3 0, and he's moving full steam ahead to the 30 man Royal Rumble matchup Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023, at the Royal Rumble. Next time we come your way for a live premiere event is Sunday night, January the 1st, 2023, 5 p.m. Eastern time. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. And of course, already signed the Friday Night SmackDown main event, the World Heavyweight Championship to be defended. John Cena is chasing number 17. It's the franchise versus the visionary. Cena versus Seth freaking Rollins for the big gold belt. And signed earlier tonight, the Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. New number one contender, Rey Mysterio, meets the one and only Ricochet, one on one. What a high flying spectacle that is gonna be. Several matches signed for Monday Night Raw, the third and final encounter for the WWE Women's Championship as the Empress of Tomorrow meets the ballsy badass champion. It's Asuka versus Shotzi, round three for the gold in Toronto. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championships will be on the line as well. Sasha Banks and Naomi punched their ticket last week on Saturday night's main event. They head towards the Royal Rumble to meet Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way for the Tag Team Gold. 
It is no hold barred. The Rated R Superstar Edge has been chopping at the bit to get his hands on Kevin Owens since the Raw after Survivor Series. Since returning on Saturday night's main event, he now has his opportunity in his hometown of Toronto. The Monday Night Raw main event features the WWE Championship on the line as the Apex Predator, the champion, Randy Orton, defends the gold against the phenomenal number one contender, former champion himself, AJ Styles. It is the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, one golden opportunity to main event WrestleMania. Who is going to be the one leaving with the golden ticket to the show of shows? But it is main event time here in Louisiana on Friday Night SmackDown. And one of those 15 SmackDown superstars that'll enter the 30-man fray on January the 1st marches his way down the aisle tonight. And the Scottish warrior, things have not been going his way as of late. And he's looking to change his luck for the better starting here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Well, Drew McIntyre, over the last month, has been faced with a lot of adversity, a lot of bad luck here on Friday Night SmackDown. He came up short at the All-Star kickoff in the four-way elimination matchup to become the World Heavyweight Champion. That was, of course, won by Seth freaking Rollins. And just a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, McIntyre coming up short to the franchise John Cena, as we just saw for that number one contendership for the Royal Rumble. McIntyre's story throughout this year, unfortunately for him, has been falling short in the big match situations. McIntyre's looking to change his luck around heading towards the Rumble, but he's got to get things going here tonight against L.A. Knight. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, Weighing in at 240 pounds, L.A. Knights. You may not like him, you may not respect him, but you better acknowledge the fact that L.A. Knight has been undefeated since joining Friday Night SmackDown. And whether you like him or not, he's one of the most talented superstars in the Blue Brand locker room, and he will be one of the 15 SmackDown superstars in the Royal Rumble matchup. LA Knight, you can call him an underdog because of his lack of experience in the Royal Rumble matchup. It will be his first time entering the 30-man fray, but you better acknowledge, as we mentioned, the fact that LA Knight may just be one of the SmackDown favorites to win the Royal Rumble matchup come January the 1st in Toronto. The defiant loudmouth himself set to take on the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. What a main event for the first time ever in WWE. Knight and McIntyre lock horns on the road to the Rumble. We are underway here as LA Knight catching McIntyre off that scoop slam. And Knight heading to the top rope. Not something we see LA Knight do too often here, but also completely not uncharacteristic for that man in the red. As we mentioned multiple times already, both these men will be two of the 15 SmackDown superstars participating in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. 15 for SmackDown, wait a minute. Small package there by the Defiant Knight and McIntyre to get the shoulder up. 15 from SmackDown, 15 from Raw. The SmackDown superstar wins the Rumble. They got themselves a main event shot at the World Championship at WrestleMania. If a Raw superstar wins, they're heading towards the main event to challenge for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And what a maneuver by LA Knight there. Again, not super uncharacteristic for the Defiant Knight, but also not something he pulls out every time we see him inside of that ring. I guess any means necessary to meet a superstar, excuse me, to beat a superstar of the caliber of Drew McIntyre, especially when so much momentum is riding on the line heading towards January 1st. Knight just pummeling McIntyre there. McIntyre able to strong battle out of it. Swinging neck breaker by the Warrior. 
McIntyre, as we mentioned, his story throughout 2022, unfortunately for him, has really been coming up short in the big match situations. We've seen glimmers of hope here and there, but unfortunately, when the championship opportunities seemingly are on the line, McIntyre just has not been able to get the job done. That's what has plagued him the last few weeks here on SmackDown. I'm sure McIntyre approaching a new year, approaching a new opportunity in 2023 at the Royal Rumble is looking to change his luck finally. The LA Knight isn't interested in McIntyre's sob story. LA Knight wants to win this matchup and wants to get all the momentum in his corner heading towards the Rumble. And what a boot by McIntyre. This main event has been pedal to the metal since the opening bell. No feeling out process, no rest for the weary. These two beating the hell out of each other ever since the opening bell. And Knight has been on SmackDown. McIntyre with a cover on LA Knight. Knight gets the shoulder up. Kicked off the evening with the return of the WWE. The monster among men, Braun Strowman, officially back here on Friday Night SmackDown. Rey Mysterio punching his ticket for the Royal Rumble. Going to face Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship on January 1st. Now we're in the midst of this main event battle between Knight and McIntyre. Not to repeat ourselves again, but it has been pedal to the metal for these two men since this match kicked off. I'm sure McIntyre's coming in super laser focused, super fired up after the recent losses as he does that overhead throw to LA Knight. LA Knight, on the other hand, 2-0 since joining Friday Night SmackDown in the WWE Draft. Not looking to get his first blemish thanks to McIntyre. But McIntyre looking to make sure he goes to 2-1 off the spine buster. But Knight gets the shoulder up. I love the battle here. The second to last Friday Night SmackDown. One more visit on the blue brand we go. It will be just two days before we get to January the 1st. Lay Knight gets the shoulder up as this main event rolls on. What a Royal Rumble card lined up for you on January the 1st in Toronto. Of course, SmackDown's main event, the World Heavyweight Championship, going to be defended as Seth freaking Rollins, the man who survived the parking lot brawl recently here on SmackDown against Buddy Murphy. Wait a minute here. Knight's got McIntyre up, and McIntyre down and out on the canvas. Knight may have just... Picked up a big time victory here on SmackDown, but McIntyre gets the shoulder up. And the main event rolls on. The momentum certainly shifts when McIntyre kicks up, and what a clothesline levels the defiant LA Knight. Can't take your eyes off Drew for a second, but there's LA Knight. Back and forth, the momentum goes. Springboard, moves salt to the lower back. LA Knight throwing caution in the wind throughout this matchup. And it's absolutely paid him dividends. Goes for the kick on McIntyre. McIntyre able, able to avoid, excuse me, whatever LA Knight had in mind here. And an elbow to the defiant Knight. And now the Warrior with the big boot. Back and forth, the momentum shifts. What a main event matchup this has been between McIntyre and LA Knight. This is the first time they're facing the WWE. I certainly hope it isn't the last here as McIntyre squashes Knight into the corner. Goes behind, reverse suplex there. And Drew is all kinds of fired up here in Louisiana. As we were mentioning a few moments ago, the SmackDown main event for the Royal Rumble, Seth freaking Rollins versus the franchise John Cena. Cena chasing number 17 in his WWE career. And whoever wins that matchup very well may have an opportunity to head to WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion. Lot riding on that SmackDown main event. Lot riding on this main event here tonight is McIntyre and LA Knight battling up for momentum on the road to the Royal Rumble. Getting closer and closer to that 30-man brawl on January the 1st, and every man is looking to build some momentum. Tensions have been running high on SmackDown and Raw as of late, with the Royal Rumble approaching, and McIntyre shoving LA Knight. Beaten down on Knight, picking him apart, kicks to the head. Oh no, McIntyre's going into the corner. I think he wants LA Knight to talk less and play more. Into the cover. Mac 
McIntyre picks up the victory on the road to the Royal Rumble. That was one hell of a fight in your Louisiana SmackDown visit. Drew McIntyre for the first time ever in WWE. Wait a minute here. LA Knight. Are we about to see LA Knight extend the hand to McIntyre? On character. Oh, we, we should have expected it at LA Knight. You know, that was one hell of a main event, tarnished by a low blow by that sore loser, LA Knight. Well, nonetheless, Drew McIntyre picks up the victory one step closer to the Royal Rumble. But there's going to be hell to pay for that man, L.A. Knight. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.